question is from Shane O'Mac 716. What are your thoughts on the ketogenic diet in regards to building muscle? I so ketogenic diet has uh, certain benefits for for some people. One of them is not uh, packing on muscle. It's yeah. actually a difficult. Can you build muscle on a ketogenic diet? You can. I've done it. Way harder to do though. Carbohydrates make building muscle a lot easier. Um, you get you're stronger. You get better pumps. Um, and I just don't. I just don't build as much muscle on ketogenic. It's hard to eat enough calories that, to gain th muscle. That's the thing. I, I I think this this answer to this really depends on the person, right? Like. Uh, Katrina puts on muscle pretty well. Uh, harder for her to lose body fat. She does phenomenal on the ketogenic diet. Uh, she does mm. great. She packs muscle on. She leans out at the same time. She loves. She loves it. Uh, for me, it's the opposite. But I'm also the. I, I fall in the camp of people that struggled to build muscle most of my life. That struggled to get enough calories. Uh, and eating uh, a diet that's high in fat and and uh, you know moderate protein, which are you know both very satiating. It was really tough, and I tried this when we a couple years back. Depending on how far back you've listened to the show, you know we we talked all about the ketogenic diet right when it was first starting to get popular, and we all decided to do it. And I thought it was a really good experiment, especially for someone like me who was at the time eating like you know four hundred to six hundred grams of carbs every day. Because uh, it would be such a shift for me, and I, I saw lots of great benefits I, uh, th that I noticed. But one of the things that I struggled with was to try and put size on, mm -hmm. to put mass on, and it was mainly because I just I didn't have the uh, I just had a really hard time eating at that. And at that time, my my maintenance my ca calorie maintenance was around you know forty five hundred calories. That's a lot of calories to get through. You know, eating healthy fats. Uh, all it's a day lot long. of fat. Yeah. yeah, you were eating like three hundred grams or something like that. And that's what that's what I found myself doing. I was like, this can't be ideal. It can't be ideal for me to be eating all of this butter and macadamia nuts and uh, you know just to try and hit this this calorie intake. Yeah, so it was silly. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> like I you know started out trying to go through ketogenic and it's I mean to be completely transparent, honest, I found the the carnivore diet even easier than that. Because it's, it's, I mean, it's very straightforward. It's like meat that, you know, because then I'm not like so concerned about like, well, I'm going over my protein amount. I'm going under, you know, over yeah. my carbohydrate amount. There's like this, like seeking out fat is is very challenging in terms of like the selection that's out there and is, is provided. But uh, I mean, if you pull it off, it's great. There's obviously other benefits to it that I think people probably want to focus on a little bit more in terms of like the neuroprotective uh, part of it, the lower information, like things like that. Yeah, that's that's why I'll do keto sometimes. If I go ketogenic, it's not to improve my performance uh, or build muscle. It's to reduce inflammation and feel mentally sharper. That's what ends up happening. So ketogenic diets characterized by very, very, very low carbohydrates, high fat intake, moderate protein intake. And because you don't have carbohydrates in your diet, your body produces what are called ketones from fat, either the fat that you consume or from fat from your body, depending on if you're a deficit or not in, in terms of calories. And those ketones are used for energy. And when the body uses ketones, you feel some people or most people tend to feel sharper and they tend to have more level amounts of energy. And there's also an anti-inflammatory effect. <clears throat> now, as far as muscle building is concerned, it's very tough. I've done this. I've had clients do this, and it's just hard. I just you just build more muscle with carbohydrates. You're stronger with carbohydrates. This is actually a fact. Um, now, unless carbohydrates bother you and don't react to you, there's always individual you know individuals that don't fall within this. But generally speaking, carbs also make you stronger. Um, so for 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 bulking or building muscle, unless the ketogenic diet here's here's how the ketogenic diet could help you build muscle. If it's the healthiest diet for you, so mm. if, if you have, if carbohydrates don't work well with your body for whatever reason, if you get infl really inflamed and your digestion is off and just doesn't work, then you'll probably build mu more muscle on a ketogenic diet. But if you're okay either way, uh, keto is not the best for for muscle building. 